I will be talking about leveraging the power of generative AI in e-commerce. So it's going to touch a little bit of PPC, a little bit of, you know, other use cases that support PPC. So overall, it's going to help you do better with your ads. It's not just about like bidding and things like that, because there's softwares that will uh, help with bidding algorithms. However, these topics that I'm going to cover today are the peripheral stuff, the stuff that you need to use with your ads with, with together with bid, bid optimization that I think most people will agree that is almost half of the PPC problem, right? Half of it is being able to automate stuff, being able to kind of manipulate bids, budgets, placement modifiers, you know, bidding strategies, etc. And that's a realm that's perfectly suited for software, right? But then there's the other whole realm of the creative side of uh, advertising, which includes things like, you know, creatives and headlines and keyword research and so many of those other areas that are so important. And that's where I think we're going to focus and uh, see how generative AI can, can help us. Just to say, this is actually an understatement what I have on the screen, but AI saves my team at least 500 hours each month. And we were pretty early in adopting AI in our processes and in just coming up with lots and lots of ideas to help with you know optimizing the amount of time we would spend on different tasks and got a lot of the uh, manual stuff onto google sheets started creating semi-automated google sheets that would you know predictively produce results uh, without people having to kind of repeat do repetitive tasks each month every time when it comes to you know uh, optimization and stuff like that so it's an understatement 500 hours i'm probably you know, saving more than a thousand, I think at this point, just to say between January of last year and now there's been such an explosive uh, evolution of generative AI. We started with ChatGPT 3.5, went on to ChatGPT 4, then there were the plugins that came and then, then the web browsing capabilities. Then you had auto GPT, you had God mode, you had code interpreter, which then was translated into advanced data and, and analysis. And now we see that the latest version of chat of chat GPT for the paid version, it already is the most advanced form of the large language models that are out there. And it has the ability to do uh, data analysis. It has the ability to accept uploads. So you can attach files, right? You can attach entire PDFs, Excel files and docs and TXT files and images and all kinds of things. And then use the, the prompt browser to kind of just query that information that you've uploaded and even make ChatGPT do all kinds of fun things. So it's kind of like a very cool assistant at this point. And I almost, you know, use ChatGPT every day. Can't do without it, right?